Hey guys, welcome to another video. Now, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, so I am going to actually give you five things that you need to know for the basics of learning or even doing an exam for physics. So let's go. <laughs> So the first thing about any physics exam is to know how to draw a graph and to use the graph to analyze data, right? Now, when students draw graphs, they need to know one, which quantity goes on your y-axis, which one goes on your x-axis, right? Now, the instructions in your questions normally gives you the idea, right? So the first quantity that comes, that says plot a graph of, and that first quantity after off goes on your y-axis and the second one after mostly versus or against that goes on your your x-axis all right and then there is how to get a scale right so it's important to know how to do a scale now at the csec level or the basic secondary level then all your axis needs to start at zero right so that means you get a number that each time you add you're adding that specific number so you said zero and then that number you add that number each time you're going up right same thing for your x-axis right now so that's our scale now the next part is to know what's your best fit line now your best fit line for secondary level always starts or very close to your zero axis right so the line normally passes through the zero or very close to the zero and it passes through either all the points that you've plotted none of the points that you've plotted or some of the points that you've plotted right and this one straight line should ensure that if some lines or points are not on the line then it's evenly distributed on the top of the line and on the bottom of the line so that means if it's four on the top of the line then four needs to be below the line all right so that's one now two is to know your laws right so physics is not physics without laws so in every case you have to know your laws now please note that these laws should be memorized as how they are given right so you know some laws like newton's laws of motion archimedes principle ohm's law so these laws are important to know for any examination all right third and that's our definitions all right so definition of terms are very important right and physics definitions are easy to remember so like speed velocity acceleration these definitions can actually help you to go to the next point that i'll talk about which is your equations right so it's easy to remember either the equations or the definitions of a term so it can assist you with the other all right and that leads us to point four and point four here is your equations right so physics entails laws but also entails use of equations now equations are given in terms of variables right so variables are these symbols that we have in our equations to ensure that we can get an unknown variable calculated right so example speed equals distance over time right so we know that the speed there is the distance d over t which is time right and that comes to a point that students normally don't remember how what each variable symbol is right so like the equation here v squared equals u squared plus 2as right the confusing part of this is that some students don't know what v squared is or what u squared is or what the a or the s represent all right without knowing those variables you will not be able to calculate what the question gives so it's one thing to remember but it's another thing to actually know what each symbol means right and then the final one is the one that most students normally forget which is the point five which is our units right so physics is very important when it comes to units right so when calculating unknown quantities you need to ensure that your unit is present when you're doing your graph with your 
with your gradient, you need to ensure that your gradient has a unit. Any different measurements that is given in physics always has its respective units because unit tells us what quantity is actually being described, right? So if you talk about meters per second, then we know that that is speed or velocity. If we, talk, if we talk about Kelvin, then that means that we know that it's temperature, right? If we have the this symbol here, which is the omega, then we know that it's resistance. All right, so that's it guys. So that's five points that you need to know for any physics exam. So I hope you enjoyed and learn something by using these points to ensure that you're well prepared for any physics exam. See you guys next time.